<laughs> all right, all right, all right. Welcome to yet another hilarious episode of Two Wheels and a Laugh, where we discuss everything motorcycles, but with a twist of humor. Today's hot topic, the never-ending battle between two-stroke and four-stroke engines. In the red corner, we have Mike, the die-hard two-stroke fan. And in the blue corner, we have Dave, the loyal four-stroke advocate. Gentlemen, rev your engines and let the war of words begin. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's start by recognizing the greatness of the two-stroke engine. I mean, nothing screams raw power and freedom like the snappy throttle response of a two-stroke. Fuffed power and freedom, more like obnoxious noise pollution and a never-ending cloud of smoke. With a four-stroke, you get that sweet, sweet, sweet torque and smooth power delivery. Yeah, sure. But at what cost? The complexity of a four-stroke engine is a mechanic's nightmare. I'll take my simple lightweight two-stroke any day. Plus, the sound of a two-stroke engine is like music to my ears. Music to your ears. I think you mean the sound of a swarm of angry bees. And speaking of mechanics, let's talk about your engine's reliability, or lack thereof. My four-stroke may be more complicated, but at least it doesn't require rebuilding every five minutes. Ha. Huh. That's a gross exaggeration. Besides, I'd rather spend a little extra time in the garage with my beloved two-stroke then be bored to death riding a heavy, sluggish four-stroke? Sluggish. I'd like to see your two-stroke try to climb a steep hill without blowing up. Let's switch gears and talk about maintenance. What are the differences between the two engines in terms of upkeep? Well, a two-stroke engine requires less maintenance overall, since it has fewer moving parts. Plus, you don't have to change the oil as frequently because it's mixed with the fuel. That's true, but when you do need to rebuild a two-stroke engine, it can be a real headache. With a four-stroke, you have more predictable maintenance schedules, like regular oil changes and valve adjustments. And don't forget about the longer service intervals for four-strokes. I'll give you that, Dave. But let's not forget about the cost of all those oil changes and valve adjustments. I'd rather save my money and spend it on more exciting things. Like a new exhaust for my two-stroke. Well, speaking of exhaust, let's talk emissions. I think we can all agree that four-strokes are a lot more eco-friendly with their lower emissions and better fuel economy. Oh, come on, Dave. We're not all tree-huggers here, but I get your point. Still, I think a little extra pollution is a small price to pay for the pure adrenaline rush of riding a two-stroke. How about we discuss the versatility of the two engine types? What kind of riding do you think each engine is best suited for? Four-strokes are definitely more versatile. They're great for everything from cruising on the highway to tackling off, road trails. You just can't beat the smooth power delivery and wide power band of a four-stroke. It's perfect for riders of all skill levels and various types of terrain. Well, I won't argue that four-strokes have a wider power band, but two-strokes excel in specific areas like motocross and enduro riding. Their lightweight nature and explosive power make them ideal for navigating tight trails, and launching off jumps. It's like having a firecracker between your legs. That's quite the visual, Mike. Now let's touch on the subject of racing. How do the two engines compare in terms of their performance on the track? Two strokes have a storied history in racing, especially in motocross and road racing. Their power to weight ratio is hard to beat, which makes them super competitive on the track. True, but let's not forget that four strokes have been dominating the racing scene for quite some time now. With advancements in technology, They've become more powerful, more reliable, and more fuel efficient than ever. Plus, their broader power band and smoother power delivery make them easier to manage at high speeds. It seems like both engines have their own set of strengths and weaknesses. But how about we lighten things up a bit? I've got a joke for you both. Why did the two-stroke engine go to therapy? I don't know. Why? Because it had too many issues to stroke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. But let me counter with another joke. Why did the four-stroke engine start a band? I have no idea. Why? Because it was tired of being called boring and wanted to prove it had rhythm. <laughs> All right, folks. It looks like we've reached a stalemate. It's clear that both two-stroke and four-stroke engines have their own unique advantages and drawbacks. In the end, it all comes down to personal preference and what type of riding you enjoy. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, we both love motorcycles, and that's what really matters, right? Absolutely, Mike. So, truce. Truce.
And with that, we conclude today's hilariously contentious episode of Two Wheels and a Laugh. Tune in next time for more motorcycle-related laughs. And until then, keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up. <laughs>